Alexa project. All right, today's the day. <sighs> Better make sure Saber and I are fully prepared. You came for an alteration before your fight? Why aren't you the cautious one? Want to do an alteration? Yeah, okay, let's see. I guess let's go for strength and a little defense. This time, actually. I mean, last time it was really bright, but ah! I was wrong. Good. Some of my former glory has been restored. Superb tempering. I shall repay your fine efforts. What now? Need another alteration? No, I'm good. And I guess that's all we really can do. It's time to face off against Shinji for the final time. You will now enter the Colosseum and confront the opposing master. Are you ready? Remember, the only way to leave the Colosseum is to win. If you are ready, I will open the gate. Yeah, I'm ready. The way to the Colosseum is now open, young master. I wish you the best of luck, and hope that you will return. Remember, it's kill or be killed. <laughs> kill or be killed. Right. No turning back now. Hey, look who didn't chicken out and run away! Oh right, I forgot, following directions is all you're good at. You know, I don't feel quite as bad fighting him. Get a clue, huh? Well, you can't say I didn't show you how awesome I was in the prep period. Never in a million years are you gonna defeat me. Shoulda ran away when you had the chance. Think it through. Take your time. You can do that? How the hell would I know? Rules like that aren't meant for me. But worms like you need a place to crawl away too, am I right? I mean, hey, I'm a fair guy. I don't like fighting against losers any more than the next talented guy. But I guess I better get used to it, since nobody here can defeat me. My servant Eldrock and I are completely invincible. Man, you have some seriously shitty luck to have gotten paired with me in the first round. But don't worry. Since we're such good friends, I'll make sure you go out with a big bang. Oh hey, check out my great idea. You gotta hear this. You ready? Sure. What is it, Shinji? Always a goody two-shoes. Gotta love it. Well, I hope you'll take one more direction. Why don't you lose on purpose this time? Anything else is a waste of time. Obviously, even a landslide victory against you would cost me energy. Even decided battles like this one are still unfair because the victor has to waste their strength. That sounds lame, so do me a favor and just throw the match. Then I win and you don't get hurt, see? What you think? Makes total sense, huh? And you can even feel all warm and fuzzy for helping me out. And there's something in it for you, right? Because if we fought for real, no way my servant could hold back. Hell, I'll even throw in some of the prize money I'll win. All I want is the title anyway. Come on, is this a great idea or a great idea? Friends, helping each other out and all that jazz. That's the worst idea you've had yet. 
You really want to fight me, huh? <laughs> You're a freaking idiot. You know, I feel sorry for you. All this new power at your disposal is giving you an inflated ego. Hey, servant, why don't you try talking some sense into the head of your stupid master? Ye gods, of all the rare monsters I have encountered, this is by far the most stupefying. A talking rat! All it mouths is gibberish, but still a rare and impressive creature. Sieber. A talking bear would at least be more fetching. This rat revels in slime and filth. Wh how dare you speak about me like that? You're just a servant! <laughs> they have a point, master. Hey, whose side are you on? Your side, of course. You paid me, finally, so I'll fight ably by your side. Letting them throw the match would not satisfy either of us. I dislike giving less than my full effort. Let your winning instincts take over. Everything's better if you fight for it. Food, women, victory. Besides, we're villains. That means, if nothing else, we're allowed to be splashy. If you're going to be a villain, might as well be as flamboyant as you please. Don't hold back. I'm not a villain. Don't you call me that, you evil woman. <laughs> temper, temper, little one. You've got big balls for being such a tiny man. I admire that. Hey, stop. I said stop. Don't you pat my head, you baboon! You reek of alcohol! They're perfect for each other. I know masters and servants are paired by compatibility. Will their chemistry be constructive in battle? The elevator rumbles to a halt. This must be where we're going. I was gonna spare your life if you surrendered. But since everybody insists, I'll show you the vast difference in our abilities until you cry for mercy. Once Eldrox Culverin makes Swiss cheese out of you, it'll be too late. This is the Colosseum. Without a single spectator, this bears little resemblance to the Roman Colosseum. <sighs> I shall have to make up for the tackiness of the stage with a brilliant display of bravery. All bark and no bite, right? That's what they say, isn't it? Well, that's you. I'm gonna humiliate you so bad that after this game, you'll never crawl out of your mom's basement. Oh. So your goal isn't just victory, but humiliation. What a greedy little boy you are, Shinji. Very well. I'll bring the rope for you to truss them up. Tie them to the mast or whatever your little heart desires. Don't even think about going easy on them, Eldrock. They should have backed down when they could. Hmm. Mercy isn't in my vocabulary. I have a thirst for the finer things in life, and that is all I care for. I may not always have good fortunes, but with humans, or bombs, there's a certain fatal inevitability to life. Now, are you ready to go for broke? It's time to splurge! All right, Saber, this is it. Let us cut our unfortunate ties with these two here. Oh, don't say that. I'm rather fond of you two. It's not too late to run and hide, Hakuno. You need a few more holes in you. Brace yourself, pirate. Okay, power up, then <laughs> strike, counter, <laughs> <laughs> then once more. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? How did she get so strong? <laughs> Yeah. We've got her on the defensive. Let's keep this up. Shoot her, damn it! 
<laughs> Guess that little fire under their ass. Oh, you and your cannons. After she uses those cannons, counter her strikes. She gets clumsy with them. Depreciated. <laughs> fire. Oh, truck! If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna <laughs> lose! I think you were right, Shinji. This is an unfair fight. <laughs> looks like you're wearing down. Bust out the big guns! Kill her, damn it! Be careful, <laughs> Saber. She might start getting desperate soon. Be on your guard. Give my regards to the devil himself. Temeroso el Drake, the woman who sank the sun. The king of all storms, a flood of the dead. The wild hunt begins! Yes! <laughs> I still have a chance! So that is your noble phantasm. It will not be enough! Let's take her out with a bang! Ready the bombardment! <laughs> Time to take your final breath! I knew you could do it, Saber! Uh, you really did a number on me. What the hell? How did my servant get defeated? No matter how you look at it, I'm the best! At everything! I can't lose in the first round! It's your fault, Eldrock! This happened because you suck! Huh? Logging a waterlogged sailor, are we? It won't reverse your fortunes, master. Ah! If you've got the energy to talk back, then go fight! There's no way I'm losing this! Hmm. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Did you forget I've been shot in the heart? I'm going to disappear. Say what? You think you can run away and leave me here? I lost because of you! My fault, perhaps. Or it could have been carelessness, or lack of tenacity, luck, ability, etc. Well, whatever. Fortune is fickle, and fate is what we make of it. We lost for a reason. We may be strong, but we didn't have what it takes to win. Why are you making it sound like somebody else's problem? I did what I'm supposed to do! I'm the best! It wasn't supposed to go like this! You ruined everything by becoming my servant! Useless! Damn it! I can't believe I lost! This game sucks! Sucks! This display is pathetically dull. Let us return to your room. I would enjoy a bath. Just looking at this abomination soils my outfit. As for the lady pirate, I wanted to hang her, but I pity her now. I shall drop my ill will. Now let's go rest up. You definitely deserved it. Hey. Wait, hey! I've got an idea. How about you declare that I won the battle? Because, you know, you just won this battle by accident! There's a 100% chance you'll lose in the second round, but I'll win it for sure! Think about it! Isn't it better for one of us to keep winning than for you to lose in the next round? Why are all of your ideas terrible today? Hey, wait! I said wait! Can't you see the equation? I'm saying I'll share the Holy Grail with you! Cut it out, Shinji. You've lost, and you know it. You can't change what happened. Shut up! We lost because of you! What makes you think you have the right to act so bossy? Damn it. Ah, You may have won this one game, but don't get a big head over it. In real life, I'm still a champion. Listen, when I go home, I'm gonna figure out who you really are and... What? What the hell's going on? My body is... it's disappearing! I've never logged out like this before! A barrier... that's... Uh... 
Shinji lets out a desperate cry as his arms, legs, and torso gradually fizzle into blackness. Losers die in the Holy Grail War. As a master, you should have known that, Shinji. What? Die? But just our avatars get erased, right? There's no way you can die in a virtual world! Yes. You lose, you die. And this is a war, not a game. Most everyone who joins this war ends up dead. The sole survivor is the only one who can go home alive. No way! That isn't funny! B -b but it's a tournament! So it's a game, right? Right? <laughs> Why isn't this stopping? Do something! Isn't a servant supposed to help their master? If it was easy to break the rules, they wouldn't have created them in the first place. But, well, the good and bad both are sent off to another world in the end. It's nothing to complain about. Acting like you know so much! Aren't you ashamed at all? First you lose, and now this! Hmm? Am I ashamed? Of course I am. I am so disgusted with myself that I could throw up. But remember what I told you when we made our contract, little boy? Be prepared, because a villain's final moments are laughably miserable. His servant gives a hearty <laughs> laugh, even as her body is being erased by the system. Considering the things you've done, this isn't such a bad death. Just let yourself go, Shinji. And you folks over there, let's hear some laughter, huh? It's sad when a clown doesn't get a laugh. A laugh? Not in... May the rest of your journey go well. I'd like it if you ended up stronger than me. In life, I fought against military ships. It's against my nature to enjoy fighting weaker opponents. <laughs> As she turned a forced smile my way, the female pirate disappeared. She was a great navigator, and the first person to circumnavigate the world. And she went out laughing. And now that she's gone, Shinji must know what his fate is. Hey! Who gave you permission to disappear like that? You gotta help me! Please don't leave me! Oh, oh god! Then you! You help me! I can't... If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be in this situation right now! You owe me! No... No, no, no! I'm disappearing! Ah, didn't we used to be friends? Help me! Ah, I'm really disappearing! Why... Why does it feel like I'm gonna die in real life too? What the hell? This is crazy! Help! Why aren't you helping me? I'm only eight years old! I... I don't, don't want to die yet. He's gone. The person known as Shinji Mato has been erased from existence. The only thing that he has left behind is me, the victor. And so, round one of the Holy Grail War comes to a close. The fight is over. I have won, and Shinji has lost, and so, Shinji will meet death. Can it be true? I know what I saw, but it doesn't feel real. Has his life been lost forever? Just because I won? Without any explanation or greater meaning? It appears that the first round is now over. I wonder how long I stood there, dumbfounded. When I finally came to, Rin Tosaka was staring at me. Even though Shinji was the one who chose to fight you, he's the one who ended up dead. The reigning king champion of Asia is defeated. The moron didn't have a clue how to fight for his life. Such is the fate of any Magus who treats the Holy Grail War like a game. A pathetic way to die, no? 
I automatically open my mouth to defend the dead from desecration. This place is a battlefield. What sense is there in exalting someone who has dealt defeat? The look in her eyes and her words drove home a message. On the field of battle, losers die. It should have been obvious, but apparently not to Shinji and I. The winner of the Holy Grail War can be granted any wish, but there's only one winner. Everyone who enters has wishes and dreams, things they desire to have at any cost. Things worth dying for. You don't seem to ever gain any of your memory yet. It's better that way. To lack a motive, that is. But you should at least be mentally prepared. If you're not ready to kill or be killed, it'd be better to go hide under a rock. I know I should, but... Hide from reality if you like, but round two will inevitably come. No master remaining thinks they can win without being prepared. Rain is right about everything. Everyone who makes a stand here fights with a strong will. There's not a single one I could defeat without a hard fight first. I still don't have a reason to fight. I can't even think about killing and being killed until I have some reason to fight. That said, what right do I have to trample other people's dreams? Francis Drake, huh? What a miserable end.